Never had this country in recent times ever witnessed or expected an event to that that occurred at the beginning of 2021. The general population of the United States and the world expected 2021 to be the year that everything returns to normalcy after a long and boring year of 2020, a year that was plagued by a worldwide pandemic of the coronavirus. The Capitol building in Washington, D.C. was taken over by followers of the Republican Party in January 6, 2021. Excuse me. I will inform you about all the events that occurred that day in the capital of this, com- of this country. I will also talk about how the riot was riled up was riled up by political events, lack of law enforcement, and what happened after the riot, the results, and the aftermath. Before then, I would like to mention some, some events that occurred in the Capitol building in U.S. history. The first time the Capitol was breached in U.S. history was when British soldiers entered the, breached the Capitol in 1814, over 200 years ago, and for no such event of this magnitude that occurred in the beginning of this year to occur between now and then, it's pretty significant to think about, but there are some notable events, such as in 1954 when four Puerto Rican nationalists entered the Capitol building, armed with handguns, opened fire at five members of Congress, but luckily they were killed. But that could not be said the same for the next event that occurred in 1998, when an armed assailant entered the building, killing one officer, Sally. One of the main reasons the protests occurred was due to political events, and you would think that a political protest will be caused by a political event that happened months prior, but even though it's not time specific, to be honest. The main political event was being was ex President Donald Trump being accused as being accused for inciting the events that occurred in Washington D.C., claiming illegitimate ballots, often pressuring some U.S. states to do a recount. And ironically enough, some of the recount came up with more Biden votes than Trump votes, which is which is again ironic. Trump also took social media to take a, also took social media claiming that he will not step down as president even if Joe Biden is declared the winner, claiming that the presidential election was fraudulent. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. The Democratic Party winning the twenty twenty presidential election was also sparked a protest in November seven, when Joe Biden was declared the winner of the election, adding more fire to the fuel, or adding more fuel to the fire. Excuse me, man. You would think that one of the most important buildings in this country would be heavily protected, but this wasn't the case during this protest. Lack of law enforcement was re- result re- led to the protesters turning the protests into a riot since they took advantage of the lack of law enforcement there. But the government did expect a protest, but did not expect such a huge amount of people to arrive, which is fair to them, I guess. Since there was a lack of law enforcement, the protesters turned the protest into a riot, and what happened after the riot was calmed down hours after the capital was breached is pretty unfortunate. The result of the riot resulted in the deaths of five people, 100 pe- 104 people being injured, sadly, but luckily none of those 140 people passed away from what I read. Congressmen and women being evacuated hours prior, the protest turned into a riot, which is great to see. You don't you don't want to see people of power being injured or some ridiculous reason and the capitol building being vandalized even there even though there was a lack of law enforcement there were you know people guarding the building but not to but it resulted in people vandalizing the building breaking windows breaking doors and once they got inside breaking or vandalizing the inside structure so i'll, I'll repeat the events that occurred that day the political, the political events, not President Trump claiming illegitimate ballots, Biden winning the presidential election, sparking the protest, building, adding fuel to the fire of the protest, the lack of law enforcement, which resulted in the protesters turning the protest to, into a riot, sadly, and the result of the riots being the deaths of five people, 140 people being injured, sadly, congressmen and women being evacuated, and the Capitol building being vandalized. You, you never want to see those those events to occur. I will reiterate that the United States did not expect such an event to occur eh, during the year of, that everything would be, you know, returned to normal in one of the most important buildings in this country, but it occurred. With how the president incited the events, how the lack of law enforcement turned the protest to riot, and what happened afterwards will now be in future history books for future students to read, which is pretty crazy to think about. This whole event may have shocked this whole country, but overcoming such an event may give us peace and knowledge that we can overcome almost anything that comes our way. 
We must be better prepared next time, but hopefully there is no next time. Only if it's for the right reason. Thank you.